next up is SST Wireless. Um, please introduce the CEO of SST, Christopher Chong. Um, SST has removed the barriers to IoT adoption by developing a robust line of industrial grade wireless plug and play sensors and gateways to allow small and medium sized businesses to generate the business, the benefits of IoT technology. Uh, Christopher, please take it away. Thanks, Andy. Hi, everyone. So we are solving a number of challenges that are in the industrial space. It's something probably not uh, familiar with you, but hope uh, this will be interesting for you. Uh, we basically deliver tangible solutions that affect people's lives every day. So we started off making sensors that are wireless to handle certain problems in the industrial IoT market. But we found that there's a greater problem with small and medium-sized companies. What you see on the screen is basically what a typical industrial automation PLC network system looks like. Very complicated, very expensive, and the data part is just confusing to figure out. And this is why the adoption level is so slow and so low. And so we created a solution which is called Industrial IoT for Everyone. We made it simple. This is a municipal water pump that is monitoring vibration and temperature by just sticking a sensor on and everything happens. We've simplified the, the cost and procurement structure and we made the data part accessible. And we've gone beyond that, we're actually aggregating data with our customers to create the big data that they need to do machine learning and so on. Massive marketplace, wireless is also growing at almost 25% compounded annual rate. Now what I wanna do is give you a quick example of how we solve solutions. This is fleet management for a company called New Flyer, largest bus manufacturer in North America. We are the only approved technology that monitors tires on these buses. And these are a bunch of uh, Detroit buses we just delivered. If you look at sawmills, they have lots of problems with water that they use. We've been able to solve a problem where we're reducing water usage by 66%. That saves money, saves the environment, and everyone is quite happy. Here, we're preventing fires from happening on machines that are making these wood pellets and, and feed pellets and so on. And this company, one of the largest in the world, Drax, is counting on us basically to keep their employees safe and to make sure that no, no problems emerge with their machines. We're now going after 10,000 municipalities in the U.S., which are small, underprivileged rural that are facing, well, lack of resources, um, lack of people, and aging equipment. And we're helping them monitor and make sure that they can supply water and sewer services to their citizens by maintaining the equipment. So we started off as an OEM. So our sensor is going to other people's machines and vehicles. We started working with enterprise customers to validate and, and increase credibility. And now we're at the third stage, which is to make this available to a wider audience. And this is where we need your help. We have a great team. We've had several exits and turnarounds, but we can talk more about that in the breakout. Um, with COVID, now kind of coming to an end and global supply chains improving, we expect that we'll see an accelerated growth this year. And this is based on our current projections, about $3.5 million this year. And as you can see over the time, over the next several years, our SaaS part is going to increase as more people adopt the technologies that we offer. So we have a great lineup of products that solve a number of different problems. So we can upsell and cross-sell. A growing list of marquee customers who are standing behind our technology. And this is not easy. Industrial customers are not someone who's going to switch things very quickly. They're slow to adopt, but once they do, they stick with you. Our platform on AWS is actually something very cool, and I can show you that in the breakout session. And we have some really fun projects coming up, including one with Walt Disney World, where we're putting our sensors on different rides. So we are at 1.75 million U.S. Um, Series A. We have $440,000 left. There's two ways to invest. You can do directly with us at a certain minimum. And now one of the VCs we've been working with has set up an SPV. So you can join that SPV if you prefer to do it that way in terms of your investment. And as you can see, we've gotten a lot of uh, interesting uh, press coverage, which I can share with you. But more importantly, if you're interested in what this whole industrial IoT thing is about and why it's the fastest growing segment of all internet use and so on, uh, please join me in the breakout session and we can talk more about that. And once again, thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you soon.